there is no denying the influence that Rotten Tomatoes has in the film industry. For a while, certain movies are effectively critic-proof by aiming at audiences who don't read reviews. The majority while have their box office either boosted or dented by the press consensus. 2018 was a year of critical surprises at the cinema and while nobody was exactly gobsmacked, while reviewers dogpiled on Fifty Shades Freed or Robin Hood while lavishing praises on Incredibles 2, many of the year's biggest movie didn't quite turn out as expected. So Flash 5 list brings you a list on 5 most surprising Rotten Tomatoes score of 2018. You don't suffer from motion sickness, see? I don't do well on boats. You'll be fine. <laughs> Number 5. Fantastic Beast: The Crime of Grindelwald Bravo to the marketing team over at Warner Bros for doing a splendid job convincing fans that Crimes of Grindelwald would be more confident, stylish, and crowd-pleasing. Follow-up to 2016's good but not great Fantastic Beasts. To the slight short shock of just about everybody, the sequel mustered barely half its predecessor score, making it the only entry in the 10-film bizarre world franchise to land a rotten rating. The blame lies almost squarely with J.K. Rowling, whose surprisingly sloppy script smacks of a writer rushing a project out out of the door without sufficient thought or eagerness. And, and it should be shocking. It's, I wrote it and it's shocking to me. With Rowling having finished writing third film where weeks after the crimes of Grindelwald was released, it is safe to say that Trequel probably won't do much to address the overwhelming fan dissatisfaction with the story moving forward. Number 4. Mission Impossible Fallout It wasn't remotely surprising that Mission Impossible Fallout scored strong reviews, though it was certainly unexpected that the sixth entry into the action thriller franchise ended up the best reviewed of the lot. Its stunning 97% score saw it top Ghost Protocol and Rogue Nations join 93% rating. But the real kicker comes when you look at Fallout's average scoring. Its jaw-dropping rating isn't just league ahead of Ghost Protocol and Rogue Nation, it places Fallout among the greatest action movie ever made. Fallout is just a fraction away from topping the likes of Die Hard, Terminator 2, The Dark Knight, and Mad Max Fury Road, which on the basis of its exciting but familiar trailers nobody could have seen coming. Number 3. Holmes and Watson Few would have pegged with Ferrell and John C. Riley's new comedy vehicle for barnstorming critical success, but even so, the mildly assuming trailer suggested it would probably score mixed reviews in, in the 30s and 40s range. Critics didn't just show dismissive indifference towards Holmes and Watson, though they flat out reviled it, deeming it among the worst films either actors have ever worked in. In retrospect, with the movie being dumped during Christmas with scare pre-release reviews after Sony attempted to sell it to Netflix, the reviews make a lot more sense even so it turned out a colossal also dud beyond anyone's wildest expectations. Number 2. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse While there was little doubt that Into the Spider-Verse would score positive reviews from critics, did anyone expect it to receive near universal acclaim and end up the best reviewed Spider-Man movie of all time? If its 97% approval rating isn't enough, the film also rocks a staggering 8.7 average score, placing it above the vast majority of movies likely to be nominated for the best picture at the Oscars, such as A Star is Born, Green Book, The Favourite and Vice. Given the tendency for animated films, this energetic and self-aware to prove more divisive with critics, it's a major testament to its creativity that Into the Spider Wars has just 10 rotten reviews today. Wait, that way. Other way, other way, other way, other way. Do animals talk in this dimension? Because I don't want to freak them out. Number 1. Gotti. And finally, we have the most shocking Rotten Tomatoes score of 2018, 0%. What were you saying on the tapes? Yes, zero. 
while few would claim to have had much hope for this John Travolta's starring biopic of legendary gangster John Gotti, few could have also anticipated that it would end up scoring 0% on the tomato meter. It was released in over 500 cinemas in the US and has more than 50 rotten reviews to its name. As a result, it wasn't only universally panned but currently sits as one of the worst reviewed films of all time on the site. Something that nobody can destroy. No matter how crappy Gari looked, it is almost impressive to release a film met with this much critical scorn. So that was the list, guys. Let me know what you think about these movies. And if you like this work, probably you will like my other works. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next list. Till then, have a good one.